Hello, everybody, and welcome back. I am KRX, and we're continuing on as Chili. 1852. We're not even 20 years into the game right now, and we are about to be passing multiculturalism. We've got universal suffrage. We've got separation of church and state. I mean, we're making some we're making some moves here, um, which is kind of gnarly. I, of course, the be the truth is, Chile is actually just a country that starts with a lot of. Uh, Chile starts in kind of an unusual spot, I think, in terms of the politics, like like kind of like, for the time and for relative to other countries, kind of like a lot of things are already kind of in place. Like you start with a presidential government, um, even though. You know, that president is elected via, uh, you know, via oligarchy rather than, you know, open voting and stuff. Um, anyways, so we're ma we've made some we've made some adjustments, but for the most part, um, things started off. Things don't start off in, in too difficult of a situation. So the GDP is actually kind of plateauing there, and I'm kind of bummed to see that. We're actually trying to get these ports online so that we can hopefully do some more efficient and effective trading. Yeah, this this. OK, this is just insane okay, why is our wheat farm only making 10 wine oh because we literally only have one wheat farm And wine is a... What is wine considered? Wine is considered a uh, a, luxury a luxury drink. So we have some need for luxury drinks. We could just... Wait, what, what's going on here? A trade... Uh, so, so the trade route's exploded and we're getting a lot of wood, apparently. Um, for cheap, I guess. Got plenty of tools. That's looking good. Why are our tools looking so good? I guess we just that that tool plant finished. Things are looking pretty good. I mean, we could use more clothing. And the sulfur the sulfur mines will let us do more. We need we need another paper. The sulfur mines I think will help our paper mills. So that'll help. But yeah, apparently our paper situation is not looking so good. And that's increasing the cost of our government buildings quite a bit. And apparently our iron situation is not too hot. A lot of our hardwood is actually being exported. Apparently that's still... Apparently England's still paying for it even at the extra higher cost. England really can't ever get enough hardwood. Um... Making extra coal, and I think that's extra coal, extra fabric, and extra wood, and I think that's actually good, because that's just reducing the cost and all the inputs of everything. I mean, there's a world where I think if there was a really effective trade route that could let us get cheap clothing, additional cheap clothing, and cheap... That's not what I'd call that cheap. Cheap clothing and cheap furniture, I think we'd probably go for it. Sure. I, I, why does it say we still have so few convoys? Let's build this other... We need more ports. We need more ports. This is insane. Patagonian customers not wanted. Some shopkeepers have expressed uh, opposition to the equal treatment of the Patagonian people. Ugh. Okay. So... So the success success chance took a hit there via that that sort of that that event from the from the tick, but um, what is the only thing we need to upgrade this? Just a ton of iron, just an absolute ton of iron. So I think honestly. When this iron mine's done, I think we just we flip the switch on this. Especially we're going to be building up a little bit here. It's interesting that the Germans are the ones that keep immigrating. 100% of the vote? What the heck? So that means that the industrialists should should be getting way less political clout, right? Because their political clout from votes should be nothing. 
but the political clout from votes here should be a lot. But it looks like actually 100, it's still 150,000, huh? Wait a second, is there an, 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 an inefficiency? How is this not 100% of the peeps voted for this party? How would that not be fully 100% legitimate, right? I understand why diluting it with other groups, right? I, I get... Okay, apparently that would actually be more legitimate than... Than removing just the... Anyways, it's fine. We, we don't need... Legitimacy is not that important right now, but it's just... If it's not broken, why fix it? It gives them more momentum, but... But that'll give them more popularity and more uh, movement to that to that area. Oh, this isn't fine. The election hasn't actually technically happened yet. Okay, so now the election's happened. Now if we go in here and look at the legitimacy. They're actually happy with us. What is it that we really kind of want to pass? I mean, I, I think it would be interesting to potentially push into some of these other laws here. Um, but it looks like for this, you need you need a group that would support this in government, which would be the industrialists. And then, you know, we want to get healthcare going. So that requires the trade unions being in power. I think we'll just leave, leave things the way they are at the moment. We can get a free reform vote every time there's an election, though. But I think we're we're content with what we have. Actually, what it, what would it cost just to add the industrialists? Twenty percent legitimacy. See, this is why this is why I wonder if moving to the parliamentary republic. Yeah, we'd get less legitimacy penalty from size of government, so we could have more groups in government together. Um. In fact, everybody would oppose this for what, whatever reason. Not a single group wants that, apparently. So multiculturalism has passed. I'm almost tempted just to throw in the industrialists just because I think they're going to be peeps that will help us kind of finish some of the last couple things that we want to adjust. Well, I mean, they would staunchly oppose something like this but what are we getting right now we're getting uh you can subsidize buildings government run railways this increases the investment pool contribution from the capitalists by a lot more loan interest rate gets decreased Mines, forestry, rubber plantations, oil is extractor, infrastructure, whaling, fisheries. And the manufacturing industries here. So so you lose the investment pool for uh for like agricultural stuff. Planta the, the anything that's agricultural, uh, plantation, ranches, stuff stuff like that. So you lose that when you get rid of interventionism. But instead of getting the 5% from the aristocrats, you get 50% from the capitalists, which I'm assuming, it, you know, once you've developed your economy a bit, this has to be quite a bit stronger, I'm assuming, for, for being able to build, being able to build at higher uh, building, uh, using, getting a, see, our investment pool right now is only saying 837 out of the total cost. That's not that great. So this seems like that would be something that would be kind of nice to maybe go for. You know, what? what the heck? Let's throw them over here. And, um, cannot pro to power while suppressing. Okay, well, that makes sense. Stop suppressing them. Instead, let's suppress the, them. And then add them. And we could just go right into that. Or,. Only 7% now. We might have made a little bit of a mistake. 
they won't even be up that upset. It's seven, it'll start at 7% and then it'll sort of climb up a little bit. You know, I haven't tried this before. I haven't tried this before. I think we pass this first and then we swing back around and and then we try to try to pass laissez faire and see what that does for sort of the the, the balance and the investment pool and everything. It's nice that England and the US haven't come down here. Usually they do. Maybe it's still just a little bit too early for them, England or US kind of finishing that up. England working over here in Africa, I guess. Make sure institutions are as up to date as they can be, okay? Still have some bureaucracy lying around. L uh, literacy is going way up. GDP has actually declined. And I'm kind of scratching my head a little bit as to what that is causing. Um, standard of living, though, is going way up, so that's kind of interesting. And I think really what it is is we built those ports, and you'd think those ports would actually help with you think those ports would be helping quite a bit. Radical Prussian. I know what's going on with uh, with Prussia over here. Stuff going on in Europe. Quite a bit of stuff going on in Europe, actually. It's completely exploded. Okay, we are losing a lot of our authority, and that's that's kind of just okay. It's kind of just okay. So that's the nitroglycerin. Getting this would take nine years to do any of this stuff down here, apparently. Clearly, we need more universities or something. Clearly our innovation. Do we only have the one university that the industrialists built for us? Yeah, that's the only university that we even have. So getting some more universities could make sense. Once this iron mine is done, I think honestly we're gonna flip a bunch of production modes, and we're gonna start doing the uh, the the iron frame buildings, and I think we might see, I don't know what we're gonna see exactly to be honest, but we'll we'll see what happens. We have nitroglycerin glycerin right now, so if we had explosives, we could actually start doing that stuff. Let's double check that we don't have anything that's like uber inefficient here. This is unproductive, huh? Interesting. And the paper route's unproductive, apparently. Or, or maybe we're just actually using our own fancy furniture at this point. Yeah, we're just consuming it ourselves at this point. We don't need to be sending it out. Oh, man. We're going to finish this, this iron, and we're still going to need more iron. Holy cow. What is going on with our iron mines? Health taxes. So I'm assuming this is... We're going to have to pay a little bit while it's being enacted but it'll increase the enactment by oh wait a second 1000 did it increase it by 30 percent and once it's passed it's just that's that's that yeah let's let's just we'll, we'll pay some of the cost don't worry about that political economy disagreements between the trade unions and the industrialists are causing conflicts in the government Industrialists are already kind of upset, but we're thinking about passing something they want to they want us to pass next. So making them unhappy would not be a big deal. What is 25% of our authority? Our total authority is so low. So I think reducing 25% of our authority would still keep us in the positive. So I think we just do that, and that'll wear off in a little bit. Yeah, our building is just way too... The, the, the building rate is just way too low. This is ridiculous. I'm actually wondering, is there some imports... Can we can we import iron? 
and yeah I'm just gonna import iron from from England and I think we said our tool production is doing okay yeah I think we flipped the switch on this This will radically adjust the economic situation massively. And we'll start losing a bunch of money, but I think with the added ability to build... Extra migration attraction is actually going to be a really good thing. Because we need more people in that state to work. Should this have gone up plus 10, but it only went 5? Hmm. Let's see how everything shakes out here. With the extra fabric, we definitely should be building a um, textile thing that we've talked about uh, at doing many times. Have yet to do it. Okay, so I'm realizing we don't have enough people. <laughs> we don't have enough actual people. Um, so maybe... Uh, what do we do? What do we do? Multicultural... We should... Our population should be... You could see that it's more steadily growing, I think, since we've had that. Maybe not since... Maybe that is more than just multiculturalism, but... Our population should be growing. Losing a small, that's the kind of deficit that I like to be running. Just a little bit of, of deficit there. Not a big deal. Really, the investment pool could come up a lot more too. And um, and we have the reserves. This is, this is perfect. This is literally perfect right here. The only thing I'm worried about is we don't actually have enough workers. Canneries have finished. Okay. So now, can we go through and how can we potentially do some of these modes? The automatic bakery would be tools. Uh, you need dough rollers for this, though. And you'd be able to reduce the labors by 2,500. Dough rollers? Where, where is that in the, in the list of things here? I, I have no idea. I don't have this completely memorized, clearly. Oh, it's... It, it's... Chili has invented dough rollers. I didn't see that in the list anywhere, but anyways. Did we end up building that sugar plantation or not? And... Could we just potentially import sugar from someone like Argentina? Let's check that. Yeah, Argentina. Not too bad. It's not very productive, but that's because we're not using sugar at the moment. I think, you know what, I, I have a feeling. I have a feeling if we go up to here and here and we import that sugar, that won't be too bad. Yeah, 30, 38. Yeah, we needed more. Good, 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 good. Um, dye is another thing. We could get significantly, once that's built, we're going to need dyes in order to upgrade the textile mill. If we had lead, we could we could improve the glassworks. That's not even built yet, though. Once we get the steel, the steel mill has finally been built. So what's the dealio with this sucker? We're not using any steel. What are we producing right now? Potentially up to 65. 65 is quite a bit. This will use uh, this will use 60, and it'll use 60 less iron, which will bring down the cost of iron. This is this will be. I think this will actually work once things get sort of wiggled out here. How many extra tools? That's going to give us so many extra tools. This is going to cost minus 4,500 labor. That's fantastic. Let's do that. Um, 
and we'll kind of just have to click a bunch of things and then see how this all kind of balance how this wiggles out i think but the thing is if we need more iron we're going to be getting a lot more tools so let's crank these things up we're going to need a lot more coal to be operating all of this stuff And we can even go with the nitroglycerin, but we don't have the chemical. We don't have the explosives being produced quite yet. Can't do the steam donkeys. We're going to be using all these, all this, ex all these extra tools, all the extra tools, and all the extra coal that we're going to be generating is going to get pushed into these, these um, water boilers. And hopefully that'll kind of rebalance them some things. People are going to get upset because they're going to be getting fired from their jobs. But fingers crossed that the overall net result of all this is going to be uh, is going to be good here. Well, GDP, look at that. GDP just went up from three billion to four four point one. It's still climbing. It's still climbing. Okay. In fact, we need to build more construction offices. Let's go. I don't know if I want to go two on this, but. Well, that's pretty good. Oh, no. Why would we want Chile to get that? Oh, the industrialists are going to be leaving for... Okay, no. I, I think we want it here at home. Look at that. We are popping off right now. Big adjustments to our production. Still making great money. This is fantastic. We're, there we go. We got an immigration into Los Rios specifically. We got workers coming in. This is good. This is very, very good. A slight deficit, which is what we want. Standard of living is eighth in the world. Eighth in the world. We are the eighth highest standard of living in the entire world right now. That's what I'm talking about. And it looks like we got a big boon of, of pop, too. So if I was to, for example, try to build like a wheat farm, what does it say? How, you know, there's 20,000 peasants there. Fantastic. I, did we end up building that extra university? How many universities do we have? Yeah, we are queued up to build another one. What is the what is the tax tax capacity? Infrastructure is not good down here. Didn't we build a port? Hold on. Hello? Plus five infrastructure? Gold, four from gold fields. Gold fields? Gold fields. What the heck? When did this get online? We must have just discovered this. And apparently we don't even have to build, build them. They're just sort of self-built. But why is the port here? I've noticed this is a bug. The port should be adding. Because it's like, okay, well, Carex, maybe it's not employed. Yeah, it's employed. It says plus five infrastructure. And then you go back to here and you're not getting the plus five infrastructure. And be like, well, Carex, it's not an incorporated state. It's like, yes, I, I, I understand. But you're still, you still get the infrastructure here. Like... The, the incorporated state is a penalty on total infrastructure, but you still get the five, and then it, the penalties kick in. This should still be, this should still represent here as a plus, it should be plus five, plus two, plus three, plus four, and then the minus 45% or whatever, however that's calculated. So I think what I'm going to do is I'm not going to worry about that right this second, but what we're going to do is I'm going to reload the game after this because that does actually fix that. That is a bug, and that will fix that. I'm almost tempted to build another construction sector. We are popping off right now. And they're trying to... Russia's trying to subjugate us right now? Are you kidding me? We're eighth in the world over here. Whoops. Got the camera all messed up. Apparently that locks in. Uh, we're trying to pass the public... The yeah, enactment time. I'm not too worried about enactment time. It'll get passed eventually. I care more about enactment success. 
Let's okay. Now that we've done all of this, let's see how things work out here. So we definitely need another furniture factory. How many furniture factories do we have? We're building one additional. Look at this furniture factory. Look at how, how well this thing is doing. So we have demand for twice as much fancy furniture. And this is getting built right up perfect. It's literally lining up perfectly. That's literally what we're building right now. That's going to double production here, which is going to help with that. Um, we need the clothing. We, we really need to get the textile plants going. And honestly, I would like to get wine production. Oh, we need to import wine. This is, this is getting ridiculous. France, help us out, France. Actually, Russia's got some wine to spare. Bureaucracy, bureaucracy shortfall. What can we do just with the production modes of our actual uh, administrative buildings, potentially? We've already maxed that out. Um, so yeah, we just need another government building. 28,000 peasants ready to go to work in Los Rios. I'd love to see it. In fact, actually, that's where this logging camp's being built, too. Let's go. 5 million. It's slowing down a bit. The, the growth rate is slowing down a bit, but we did go from 3 million to 5 million in, like, quite literally one or two years. It's kind of insane. And and you know what? Ah, oh, man, it's a little touch and go here. That we have that additional expenses, right? That political additional expense, and we're not getting any. We are not getting any investment pool right now. Uh, because apparently we get no investment pool con contribution when we build when we build um, government buildings, which I guess makes sense. Basically, what I'm trying to say is I think we could actually technically afford another construction sector, which would increase the cost of our building by about 3,000-ish. I'm going to do it. I'm just going to... We're going to go with the Hail Mary here. Because I think if we can pump out buildings faster, I think this will be... Whoa, what just happened? Oh, the investment pool kicked in, but why did it just say eight thousand? Must be the investment pool, is it was was doing some things there. Yeah, the investment pool is going to kick in for the uh, glass. Um, again, we have ways to, to. We're fine. We're fine. Everything's doing doing fine here. Why are they opposing this? I guess we could read the event and actually understand this, but but that's fine. Uh, we're just going to, again, keep trying to pump up the success chance so that can get passed. And then it'll be interesting to see if we go to laissez-faire after this, how much that'll all kind of tie in. So what do we have here? We need more wine. We're importing some at least now. We need more clothing. We're importing almost all of our clothing. And if we make more hardwood, that would be good. If we made more tools, that would be good. If we made more small arms, that would be good. If we made more cannons, that would be good. Furniture is actually looking fairly good. So we need more tools. Tools. And I, I really want to get this set up because we have a lot of fabric just lying around. And I'm almost kind of looking at this and being like, you know, we're building this wheat farm. This will get us wine and this will get us grain. But if, our, if we're actually doing okay just importing grain, do we really care? Like we're importing plenty of grain. Do we care? We can just import the wine and the grain. This is looking beautiful. This is looking pretty good because that's just cheap food for peeps. Um... Interestingly enough, a lot of this is actually a trade route that's coming in that's bringing in this excess, but it's making it cheap for people, and they need the intoxication stuff. Um, was there just an election? Is that what just happened right there? This is looking really well balanced. I guess Argentina is making a lot of sugar. Um, honestly, this is just humming. This is just humming. We need to start. Yeah, we need more coal. We already have that queued up. We need the textile. We need more tools. That's already. This is all queued up. 
we need um I'd like to get the glass works so yeah this is this is the sugar plantation though yeah let's put that at the bottom the sugar's balanced right now we're balanced on that Yeah, I think honestly, when all this completes, it's just going to be GDP is just going to go up even more and more and more. Um, our population it, it went up with a big bump right there, but I we don't want it to go too crazy because now we're actually running into the issue. We can't quite get people enough. Uh, can't give people enough jobs right this second. Free reform because we had an election. I'm not even sure how that election went because I wasn't even paying attention. I'm assuming, I can't imagine these guys got that many votes. Yeah, they got less than the intelligentsia. Can't believe we haven't passed this public insurance yet. trade agreement so if we <clears throat> if we had a trade agreement with Argentina we would not get any tariffs so the tariff income most of the tariff income is coming from grain liquor and wood so but what it would do is it would make it so that we don't have to pay bureaucracy to do trading back and forth with Argentina so it would literally just be free to trade with them because we don't need convoys I'm gonna accept this yeah, we barely had any... And then I think, honestly, we could just go through and be like, well, dang, Argentina, how? Like, what do you got? What do you got? I mean, we could, heck, this is... It's insignificant, but it's saying it's productive. Oh, that's an export. That's an export. Argentina here? Uh, that's not, not effective. How is that not effective, having closed? We're such at a closed deficit. That's interesting. Now, they do... They dies. We do want dyes coming in, to be honest. We might not really use that much at the moment, but... I'm just looking to see specifically what does Argentina got that they can... that we can trade with now that we have this set up. Why would importing hardwood... Oh, we do. Yeah, that's right. We actually just need more hardwood. It'd be nice if they were working on lead, because I don't really want to start that myself, but... Again, I'm just kind of clicking through here, and I'm just looking for Argentina. I don't think Argentina is that well developed. One of the issues right now with the game is that the, the game doesn't like... Um, that the AI really kind of struggles to, to develop their country. So that trade, that doesn't really get us too... I, we have tons of bureaucracy, but state construction efficiency, I guess? I, I don't know. I mean, we could still... Use, if we had uh, convoys, which we should have some, we can still do productive imports with other countries, so with that bureaucracy. And technically, it means that we could go down to a cheaper system here... And save a little bit of money. And save a little bit of paper. Yeah, I think that works. You know, exporting out the little bit of excess... The little bit of excess sulfur I think could make... Yeah, let's do that. I'm just going to do that just purely to, uh, to try to make that sulfur mine a little bit more productive until we need it. We will need it when this chemical plant... Actually, we need it. Yeah, we're going to need it now, so maybe we'll be canceling that soon. Things are humming, guys. Things are going great. There we go. Public health has been passed. We're going to need to figure out what we're going to pass next. Everything is on the up and up. Actually, that's going to use bureaucracy, too. So maybe we'll make some adjustments. Well, maybe we'll have to undo some of the things we just did. We, do, we just changed. Um, get that bureaucracy back. Put that into public health. And then cancel that uh, Scandinavian sulfur trade because we're going to need it for our uh, chemical plant that just finished guys thanks everybody for being here really appreciate it 43 46.3 percent legitimacy we are popping off over here as chile everything is going fantastically i'm just also ecstatic the fact that england and and uh the uk and uh the united states haven't come down here to colonize all this and argentina is not really going to do a good job at it either so that's kind of exciting to me um, but guys thanks everybody for being here really appreciate it i will see you guys 
in the next episode. Playlist link down below will help get you there. 